Vaughan Mabry, Chris Reid, our referees, as they have been throughout the series. Boone and Johnson go at it, and Golding hands over to Casper Ware. Melbourne with first possession. Down to the baseline, the left hand overcooked it. Boone's tip in, wouldn't work either. Loose ball, Sophie got a piece of it. Here's Creek running. Shorter to his left, joins in inside Golding. Adelaide's first field goal, they take the lead. A lead by eight, Golding for the shot clock, rolling to ten, and a mismatch against DJ goes to it. The handoff was good, Boone for the finish. And that's where he get exposed. Ramon Moore, shot clock to seven. Top of the key, Johnson fires quickly and connects. A little bit too quick on his move. Here's Anderson with a height advantage over Ramon Moore. Spins into the left hand. It rattles around and tumbles chance at a three-point play. Off the mark. Johnson had a piece of Greek. Saves it, goes heavily into the crowd. Let's hope he's okay as he tries to regather himself. Wesley from close range gets the two. 13 of 39. They have been fantastic, but if I'm Sobe there, as Dang just gets to the rack. Six points for Melbourne here in almost seven minutes of play in the second term. Golding knows it's now or never. He goes to work. They led by eight at quarter time. Melbourne have scored just eight here in the second period. Prey that bounces into a double team. He tried to jump out. Two fouls apiece in this quarter. Creek beats shorter. Down to the baseline. And knocks down another. And if I'm Melbourne, these last two minutes, I gotta try and get this game to about 12 or so. Give some momentum and some hope. As Dang just says, there is gonna be no hope, Melbourne. Listen, this look, right now, all they can continue to do is keep being aggressive. They miss, they miss. That's it. And Prather does pull the trigger, knocks down the three, just the fourth of the game. The chance for a moment more short arm, but they get after it. He's dead! God dead! He's everywhere! Hands over for the four star! Oh, the Adelaide fans are partying! They're just straight out, out hustling, out playing, giving that extra effort and energy against United. Provide a miraculous comeback here in game four. Prather, eight on the shot clock, penetrates, tough shot, gets it done. Prather's now got 18 to lead all scorers as we go to narrowly. Where in that mismatch against Daniel Johnson again, it's worked all series for Melbourne and they still can't prevent it from working. Trout continues at the offensive end for Adelaide. None of five from the field so far in this quarter. He played over three minutes and they get a layup to break the drought. Dean Vickerman thought it was a hooking foul. Well, you got to wonder what's going through Adelaide players' heads, heads at the moment. Sobey's just tipped in by Daniel Johnson. His first score since halftime. Wanted a call. Referees didn't see it that way. Inside, five minutes to play. And they got a mismatch here. Wesley great pass. to Boone for the dunk. That is a great five. Sure does look like it, but more and more. Coming up with some big plays. Back to back baskets for Adelaide. Here's Prather with the two. Draws a foul on Moore. Chance at a three point play. Great D from Melbourne. Adelaide have got five seconds here. Moore attracted the double team. Kicks the shorter. One on the shot clock. <laughs> 24 at half time. 13 with one term to play. And now by a goal in the quick release. Three is on the bottom of the net. He invites the fans to sit down. But this grand final series in the 40th anniversary season of the NBL is going the distance. Adelaide 90, Melbourne 81. It's 2-2. Next Saturday is the biggest.